Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Please take a second to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the episodes as they come out. Thanks a lot. Hey, gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy Kevin James Ryan. Special announcement, the Are You Garbage Patreon is alive. Oh, baby, it is up and running, clean living. Go to patreon.com slash Garbage, where you can get exclusive content. We're going to have bonus episodes every week. We're going to have stuff... Uh, me and Foley from the Hard Feelings Archive. We're going to do live streams. The whole nine yards. Get in while you can. Buy low, sell high, what they say. So check it out, everybody. Go to patreon.com slash garbage. We need this! Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they grew up absolute trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you from my mom's man cave down here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Word on the street pork chops on the smoker for din din and i cannot be happier my co-host coming at you from an undisclosed location somewhere southern new jersey wildwood 222 ocean <laughs> avenue our good pal kippy kevin james ryan everybody yo yo king of the boardwalk still reigning supreme <laughs> down here dude sam's pizzas as far as the eye can see and i'm loving every fucking minute of it i'm um, happy to be here guys thanks so much for tuning in if you're new to the podcast, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Um, and if you are new, check out our past episodes. We had fucking Mark Norman, Dan Soder, Joe List, Bobby Kelly, fucking Andrew Schultz. We had fucking everybody. So go check those out, guys. And hit that Patreon, baby. Are you garbage? Patreon backslash are you garbage? Get on there for all kinds of exclusive content. It's going to be fun. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. We are extremely excited about our very funny guest today. Uh, he is an extremely funny stand-up comedian. He tours all over the country. He makes regular appearances on the Bonfire on Sirius XM with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. He's also a regular on the Doug Stanhope podcast. He was a 2019 selection for JFL New Faces in Montreal, Canada. He's in the uh, extremely funny short tires, and he's also the director of 2019 short Bad Deal. But the big question on everybody's mind today, is he garbage? Wait, what, was the, uh, what was the bad deal? Bad deal. You didn't direct that in 2019? No. It's on your IMBD. No. Oh, this guy's trouble <laughs> yeah, that's not all me. the way. Fake, fake IMD credits? Jesus Christ. No, I, I don't know what that is. keep himself out of trouble. That's on there. It says you're a writer and director of it. Yeah, I think that might be a different guy. I've seen <laughs> no, that. It was your, I don't know how to get your, rid of it. <laughs> it was your picture. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Gillis. What's up? You forgot a couple credits, but how's it going? Hit me. <laughs> what did he forget? You know I, was that trying one. To I was trying to smooth <laughs> over a couple of things. You know that no reason to credit? dig up the past. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know you if that was something. First podcast not to. No, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go down that road with you. Um, <laughs> but we're happy to have you here, buddy. Uh, the yeah. Are You Garbage situation. I, I honestly... Up until probably 12 hours ago, I would have said complete garbage. But I did a little research, did a little homework. I'm going to say the kid's all class. Kippy, what are you thinking? I don't know, man. I know he's got, you know, he's got, you're from like <laughs> Harrisburg or something, right? I'm leaning garbage. That's tough. Uh, you're from like well, Central PA a little bit. I'm from Mechanicsburg. So, uh, yeah, but I grew up in like a, a nice, a nice house and a nice neighborhood. How and, far away uh, were you from Harrisburg? Uh, it's like 20 minutes west oh, yeah. or east. So, yeah, so it's about the same comparison to where we are to Philly. So, yeah. Um, but definitely rural, right? Blue collar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's weird how much this area has changed in the last like 10 years. I mean, it was definitely very rural and very blue collar, but now it's totally suburban. It's totally I mean, suburban. And we were one of the first suburban neighborhoods out here. So I've always been. It's always a good look when you have like kids a new car. money. I like it. <laughs> I am first. The first new development, the first cul-de-sac in the in we the, fucking the town. gentrified. 
bought yeah, low, mechanics, bought right. low, and the real estate started going up. Your pops oh. like, "Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Pretty sweet." Well, he grew up on like a creek. In <laughs> oh, well, creek yeah, kids creek. are bad news, kids, dude. And creek he had like fucking bad. eight siblings, and they all fist fought, and their dad died. <laughs> they were they were garbage. They're um, garbage. That's like real garbage. But the thing is, is that kind of never really good. Like my kids, hopefully, will have zero garbage. I'm half. Sure. So this is mm-hmm. this is what we're finding out about. It's like it's generational. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if your dad was garbage, you're garbage. Your kids might even be unless 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 yeah. you have like an all star career, they're going to be yeah. somewhat fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have this thing sure. where I'm starting to do. I do a lot of the stuff that my dad does, and like I'm starting to like just like the mannerisms are like oh everything. You know, yeah. So that 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 that. that Inherent garbage doesn't really go away too easily. And I gotta say, I saw an Instagram story of you. Your dad's a fucking fucking brick shit house. He'd still kick <laughs> your ass, right? Uh that's that's been the debate lately. In fact, earlier today, <laughs> dude, that is such. I do it with my dad. I used to do it with my dad. It's such a trash yeah. thing. If you're like, I, I could take you, and he's like, I got one more left in me, kid. I was that's gonna hundred percent what he says. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you as a question, and it was gonna be a trick question, like whether you thought you could beat your dad up. And the trick question is, if you even think about that, you're fucking trash. Because intelligent, classy people <laughs> yeah. don't think about fist fighting their own man. <laughs> well, we've I'll all tell you thought what. about it. <laughs> I literally, before this podcast started, he and I had that debate uh, in the kitchen today. And he, because I, you know, I squared up to him and like jabbed him a little. And Joking he, around. Yeah, of course. And okay. then he he was like, I'll, I'll fuck you up. And I was like, I would beat the fuck out of you. And this was in front of my mother. So yeah. Dude, I yeah. mean, maybe it's not all class. Over. She, <laughs> no, she ba- it's not. It's she not, backs dude. your dad up. She backs your old man up. Like, yeah, he'll kick your fucking ass. Yeah. Oh, he's done that. So one time uh, I came out of the bathroom and my dad fucking towel whipped me in the face. Like I, oh, he was doing laundry, which is right what, outside you in a of the frat bathroom. house. What's going it was on? insane. He towel whipped me in the face <laughs> and then I fucking grabbed the towel and he hid behind my mother. Ooh. And I was like, I was like, if Joan, you better move or I'm going to fucking towel whip you. <laughs> and she stayed still. So I towel whipped her. And normally I'm bad at towel whipping, but I fucking, it was a perfect crack. And she started Snapper. crying. Oh, <laughs> and my dad went from like, oh, this is playful to just in my fucking face. <laughs> like he was, hit his girl. He got, yeah. He got in my face. and was just like, I'll fuck you up. You pussy. I remember you called me a pussy. <laughs> Call me a pussy. Dude, my dad's called me a pussy so many times. It was crazy. Yeah. There's a uh, in in trashy families, there's a 10 year period where the where the son and the dad are just at like a constant fucking standoff yeah, yeah, on who yeah. wants to fucking test it. You know what I mean? <laughs> because once they get into their sixties, they start losing a little little bit more, but from like from fifty to sixty, it's just two two fucking lions iron each other up. And yeah, and I got when I was I was playing football, so I got very big. And I would, I just would bully this fucking guy. Like he was, he was probably like 50 years old. And I was, you know, I was fucking playing flexing up, I was on him and shit like college football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I would like wrestle him and beat his ass. But if we fist fought back then, he would have fucked me up. Yeah, it's a weird thing. There's some kind of psychology or like, yeah, like even at like, you know, like I played football too. And at like my prime physical shape, I was still like, you know, not scared, but like I knew there's something about a man's, like a grown man's hand punching yeah. in the face that just does so much damage. And just, even though they're out of shape, they have that look in their eye. Like, yeah, well, they'll do it. Get you. <laughs> and they're, they're different. That's the, that's the generational thing where my dad grew up fighting constantly. I've been in like right. 10 fights. This guy used to fight constantly. Yeah. So he's, I mean, they're from he, a time period where like neighborhoods used to fight, you know what I mean? They're like, let's go over to Third yeah. Street and just fuck those guys up. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. just fighting dudes from a section of the place. Irish and Italians going at it with fucking with each other at the playground. Yeah, man. Oh, Out God. here it was uh, it was anti Catholics. We still had the uh, <laughs> really we had the good yeah we in in Mechanicsburg we still had good racism where wow. it was just it's like Northern Ireland like, shit. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was the Protestants. <laughs> <laughs> and they, did they? Yeah, my dad. My dad has a story about he was playing basketball one day and he went to the same high school as me. We went to a Catholic high school and uh, there's a school called Redland here, which is like, I don't know. They they literally, even when I was in high school, their student section would wear orange when they played us to like be the Protestants. And they fucking, during my game, my dad was in, they threw like fish onto the court 
<laughs> they were calling them fish eaters and shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. You don't yeah, bow yeah. down to the king. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's like 1800 shit. Yeah, that's gangster New York shit. I'll, I'll stop hijacking your fucking podcast, but a good story no. from that was No, my that's dad. what, dude, that's what the that's whole That's what we want, is. baby. We want In you. this game, in this game, my dad gripped up the dude he was guarding. It was like, <laughs> if I see you outside of this, I'm going to fuck you up. And, uh, like, four years later in college, he saw the guy at a bar, and I don't think the guy recognized him. And my dad was like, let's go outside. And he just jumped this dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just beat the shit out of a guy for no reason. <laughs> Why are you, you doing this, like Mr.? 30 yeah. You fast forward like 30 years, the guy's eating dinner with his family at some casual dining facility. Yeah, yeah. You guys are in there eating. Your dad's like, I'll be right back. Get the check. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the last scene in Sleepers when they kill fucking Kevin Bacon. Yeah, it was uh, for no what reason. Your, what does your pop do? What does he do for a living? Uh, he's a salesman. So okay. he does. I was actually making fun of him yesterday. He also, prote- he, like all dads, he thinks he was a fucking troop for some reason. <laughs> in his old age, he, you know, he like salutes the flag and shit. <laughs> and uh no he's just a salesman Dude, not, I'm, not just not selling him short but yeah i'm down in wildwood and every friday and saturday and sunday morning on the boardwalk it shuts down at 10 a.m and they play the pledge of allegiance and the national anthem dude and it is it's pure america dude i love every second of it, it feels like, you know good, what? doesn't it i'm sitting there like trump 2020 baby this is a good <laughs> yeah it'll get feeling, you dude. going dude it'll <laughs> get you going it hypes me up dude nationalism <laughs> you get you get some white dudes going on nationalism it's hard to pump those brakes <laughs> it is yeah, yeah, yeah it really is once that blood gets pumping dude it's fucking game <laughs> what over what guys love nationalism <laughs> <laughs> we did uh we did taps on memorial day at three o'clock made everybody stop at the party the kids let taps play Full somebody in my neighborhood uh somebody in my neighborhood i guess has a trumpet and they played taps on memorial day and my dad stood up and it's put his hand slow. on his heart stood he literally stood there Ugh. like that and we were like that was that was what started the uh, troop fight i was like you're a fucking salesman <laughs> stop <laughs> your dad's paying for a flyby over the house <laughs> yeah, he's, he's out of his mind what about your mom what does she do for a living uh she was a teacher i think she's retired now okay all right yeah that's pretty good all right and uh, t- typical, like, growing up, how how was that? Uh, it was good. I mean, trouble. Yeah, I had a, did you get into trouble as a kid? I did get in a lot of trouble, but it was never real trouble. It was never like, you know, I wasn't doing fucking just kid shit. Yeah, I guess we were like smoking cigarettes and weed and shit, but you know, you weren't like stealing crazy cars crazy. in Harrisburg or anything like no, that. No, nothing like that. Just drink, just substances. That was always the problem. There you go, because Harrisburg's scary, man. I've only I've only been there like yeah, where, Harrisburg's where, fucking rough. Where I realize it, like I've only been there remembering it once for a show, early out in comedy. It was Labor Day weekend. At, I think the place where you started. I was probably there. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, HMAC. HMAC, that huge, that huge big had yeah. a big stage, right? Yeah, it was, it was me. Like, oh, yeah, it was like me, Kevin Cotton, and Shaner. Joe. Shaner murdered everybody Shaner else. Ate, fucking bombed. Shaner ate my lunch to the point where like his setups were like getting <laughs> applause breaks, and I was like, Yeah, oh, God, Shaner's, this is bad news. Shaner's Shaner's built for HMAC. Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's, he's like, because it's all like fucking white trash that think they're hipsters. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, he Shaner's would do a setup and people would stand up and clap their hands <laughs> yeah, over their head. Yeah, yeah. And I went up there like, I got a, I got a lot of dumb Italian friends and people were like, get out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah. Shaner's yeah, huge sure. in Harrisburg. <laughs> That's, I got to bring him back. Here's something I want to I want to bring up before we get into the questions. We're going to get into the questions in a second. Play Are You Garbage? Um, this is something interesting. I don't know if Kippy knows this, but am I right or wrong in hearing the fact that you got into West Point? Is that right? Yeah, I did. Wild. Did you, did you, dude, that's, cr- how what were your grades in high school? Uh, they were good, but not like, I mean, honestly, it's pretty crazy. I think I was ranked like bottom of my class. Wow. F- I was point, like, that's like, that's like an Ivy did, League school. Yeah, I did well on the SATs and also, not like great. I got like an 1170. It wasn't crazy, but I got, I got uh, twice what I got. I know. But I got a, uh, it was for football. That's how I got in. But did you get the appointment from like the? Because you have to get like yeah. appointed by a congressman. Yeah, I met like with a congressman who tried to like. I mean, they were all excited to that a football player was going because normally, truthfully, the guys that go to West Point typically are fucking dorks. 
Yeah, they're, they're super like, smart. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of soccer players and cross country dudes. A lot of Boy Scouts. It's mostly okay. literally Boy Scouts. Like most really? fucking dudes at West Point were Eagle Scouts. It's fucking crazy. But uh, and a lot of them had like perfect SATs. It was nuts. Then you're but, just uh, in there fucking giving kids noogies and shoving them in. Well, I got I quit like right away. I quit after. <laughs> Wait, you I actually went? You... Yeah, I quit after three weeks. Oh shit! I didn't know that you actually went there and did all that yeah. stuff. I didn't know you were allowed to do that. You can just quit the army after three weeks. Yeah. Well, once I heard you could just leave, I was like, all right. Well, I'm gonna fucking leave. Oh, I thought you were. I in made for a five huge years. mistake. That's no, I went. Crazy. To, I, now, if you quit, I think after your sophomore year, you owe them the the service so dudes that like quit Ew. their junior or senior year just are enlisted as privates Jesus and, uh, Christ. brutal yeah it was just i uh you know i was a pussy and i fucked up going there so That's it was wild. like like day one i was fucking around like joking and a uh a drill sergeant heard me so he, re- he heard somebody so he comes running over to us and was like who said that and a fucking dude next to me stepped up and told on me what? That's first rule. I was I like, what fucking the fuck? pussy shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of snitching over there. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hold each other accountable. I was like, yeah. ah, these are not my fucking people. Yeah, these aren't my kind of guys. Yeah, what let, me go, let me go back to Mechanicsburg and fight my dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that, led to, oh. that <laughs> led to some fights. That led to some fights. Oh, I imagine that he led was to... fucking pissed. Well, he was he was through the fucking roof. One day, he's a patriot. One day before, yeah, he, he, he's a patriot. Oh, dude, that was Never his served. fucking. Yeah, that was his dream. His kid going oh, to West Point. Oh man, playing football at Army. That was like he was. There's still Army hats in my house floating around. Like there's still West Point gear around the house. Uh, he, I remember one day I was leaving the house and I was talking to him about going to West Point because I didn't really want to go, but there was a lot of pressure. My parents, like, I told my mom I was going to commit to Temple, and she cried. Oh, <laughs> so that's where I, I went. Like, T.U., bro. We could have been yeah, out together, almost, son. I almost, I almost went there and quit, definitely, after two-a-days. For sure, yeah. I would have quit. You were going to play uh, football there, too. Yeah, it was down to Eastern Michigan Temple and Army. Well, what year did you graduate high school? 06. Oh, yeah. I was 05. They were terrible when you, when you would have went there. Yeah, that's why I got offered. They were, dude, they would lose games, like, fucking 65 yeah. to 0. And the yeah. night before, they were showing up in my house on, like, a Friday night for, like, a kegger. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. You guys stink. <laughs> Fucking go get some rest, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, be- I mean, but, uh. Is yeah, that why you, it, did you quit oh, because sorry. of football? Like, uh, you- yeah. I quit because it definitely fucking sucked. And I. I was definitely, like, soft. And as soon as I found out I could quit, I was like, oh, I'm fucking out of here. Um, What'd your dad I knew say? I fucked up going into it. My dad was definitely pissed at first. So the the West Point like trains the parents because they know during basic training every kid is going to be like I'm out, I'm going home. Mm-hmm. And so when I so the parents are trained to be like you're not allowed to come home, you're not allowed what? at our house. So my parents said that to me, and I was like, "You fucking losers! <laughs> yeah, you fucking <laughs> like, dorks, dude!" I, I wrote them because it was all letter correspondence too. So I like oh wrote them a letter. God. What? Yeah, I got a letter oh that was like, you can't, you can't quit. So then I wrote like a fucking three page on loosely, you know, <laughs> shitty handwriting. Just like, you never did shit with your lives. Don't tell me to fucking do this. And of oh course I regretted God. it. I was being a pussy. I was being emotional and I felt, you know, I felt horrible about writing that letter. But yeah. And, so, and then the next letter was like, sorry, we were told to do that. You can obviously you can come up. <laughs> shame, shame. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't imagine the anxiety involved in fucking having to send a letter like that with all those emotions in it, then wait for fucking two weeks for it to yeah. get back. Not then you gotta how wait. long it's going to be. Yeah, then you got to wait till Tuesday for fucking mail call till Sean yeah. Sarge shows up. Holy shit. Yeah, and you got it. Mail call was fucking hilarious, too. Now, the, the basic training stuff was ca- kind of easy at West Point. Like, it's designed for, like I said, dorks to get Cross through Cross-country it. people, yeah. It's not like, Mar- yeah, it's not like Marines or Army boot camp. It's fucking, it's like do 10 push-ups. Like, the drill, stru- the drill instructor has gotten in trouble for swearing at us. Ooh. Like, yeah, like cadets reported the drill instructors for using profanity, and they got in trouble. <gasps> And then they came back from that meeting and were like, you pussies, fucking, here we go. We're fucking killing you yeah, tonight. What's with, what's with all the snitching? Jesus fucking it's, that's all. That's the whole fucking, like, it's all, it's all about, like, duty, honor, country. That's the fucking thing. So, like, if somebody cheats, it, there's an honor code. Like, if, 
if you're cheating or something, it's everybody's duty to fucking tell on you. No, I get that. Cheating is one thing, but fucking rat. I mean, what, what about the fucking, yeah, the, the code that you, for your yeah. fellow soldiers. Didn't these fucking guys see a few good men? It's the first <laughs> one. Oh, no. You keep your mouth shut. Code red. <laughs> the one no, guy killed was, himself. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a tough one. It was a dark period. Holy shit. That's well, crazy. it's all working out, baby. Almost. Well, let's find out. <laughs> we're close. We're close. <laughs> yeah. We were close, dude. <laughs> We were That's, real close. Dude, I was looking at Shane. I'm like, ah, oh, kid's having a great, kid's having a great two years. Oh man, this is really gonna fucking speed bump in his in his hot year that the kid's got going. And wait, that was a double. That was a double pump to your old man too, because first he had West Point, and was he excited about that too? Uh, well, it, truthfully, they had 24 hours to be excited about SNL. Nice. Yeah. All right. I mean, so, it, they had 24 hours, so thankfully it wasn't like. They, they didn't go around bragging really to their friends as much as I, they would have if they had more than 24 hours. Dude, he's got to uh, fucking hate you, man. He's <laughs> hate you. He should kick yeah, your he, ass, dude. He should just fucking tune you I up know. in the kitchen one day. I know. He's, he's got to hate you. <laughs> he does. Did they take I keep any giving him, did they take I keep any giving him uh, reasons to, to brag at the bar? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for like a couple of weeks. Day, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he just shows up and people are like, how's your son? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gillis, what happened to your boy over there, huh? <laughs> Real fucking fishy to that kid, huh? <laughs> Real funny guy. Holy shit. All right, let's play Are You Garbage. That was let's fucking awesome, it. man. I love that. Um, we're going to ask you a series of questions, Shane. Determine whether you're garbage or not. Like I said, you got um, the West Point thing was big with me, even, even, even if it was athletic. I'm all in. I got fucking, I got 700 on my SATs. So you're a Took fucking three Jesus. times. <laughs> you're a fucking retard. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yo, the kid struggles. The kid struggles. Are you dumb? You don't seem dumb. Nah. Oh, with well, that Foley? stuff, I am. Yeah, no, dude. Foley's dumb in every everything. Socially, bullshit. I don't know. Street. You're, you're funny. How are you dumb? What's what's fucking he's, he's doing? Tests? Dude, he's doing Rodney Dangerfield. If you really boil it down, <laughs> he's just doing Rodney. You want to know what happened in high school? I got no respect. That's what yeah. happened. I didn't respect. <laughs> no, man. I fucking I was terrible at taking tests and all that stuff. I was yeah, bad student, bad student across the board. Hmm. All the way. Now, no way. So yeah, eleven no, eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. You're a fucking Kennedy in my book. I like that. <laughs> Well, let's find out. Kippy, you want to start it off? You want me to hit him with a couple of the, couple of the basics? Let's, uh, you can do, uh, do a couple of the basics. Yeah, I'm interested to know. Um, shampoo in the bathroom. What were you working with down there? I imagine it was Irish Spring, your old man. Jesus. Yeah, it depended who it, – it fully depended on who went shopping, grocery shopping. I, no, I had two older sisters, so mm, I did have – Some nice stuff. There you I go. I had two older sisters, so there was – yeah, but it was all shit. I didn't know what the fuck it was. It was always yeah. like – you know, I'd, I'd have to read bottles to figure out. It was, I don't know. It was all essences and shit. Yeah, yeah, jerk off off with... gonna <laughs> yeah, just one gonna, am I going to catch a burner on this one or what? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I definitely jerked <laughs> off with like high quality salon <laughs> yeah. hair products. Moroccan oil or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pubes yeah. all shiny and shit. Fucking. <laughs> Who good. used half the conditioner? Uh, that yeah. was my move. I was a big conditioner guy back in the day. Conditioners. Oh, <laughs> just, 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 just little all bit you of water. Need. Oh, Ooh. little, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Little dime size, baby. You're fucking. You get me hard. I might go do that today. I'm at home. I might get one for the for the old. Yo, day. ma, where's the conditioner? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. This is a devastating. Uh, I was embarrassed to report this yesterday on my podcast, but my uh, there's a box of tissues in the room I'm staying in that I used up. <laughs> and His mom I thinks in, he's got a cold. He's got, I he's went got in the yesterday. I went in yesterday, and there's a new tissue. Box oh, oh, oh man! Which, first off, I don't know what the fuck she's doing in my room, but second, secondly, that's a tough look. Reloading we, your we boys' you. tissues. That's a fucking dark one. Yeah, yeah. she she knows what's going on. Yeah, it's no good. She knows what's going down. That's fucking too funny, man. Jeez. I always thought I was getting away with it, too. Not not recently, but uh, in, like, seventh grade, I would shower for, like, an hour and a half. You sure. In my <laughs> head, I've th never been caught. Like, I've never I been caught was, or yeah. confronted. So, I think I've Me gotten clear, I got, but. I got confronted uh, probably two years later when uh, I was out. My sisters, my sisters were quick to be like, 
Yeah, everybody knows you're beating off in the shower. Yeah, Knock that off. <laughs> there's a, there's a $700 water bill for yeah. June. <laughs> well, we just had a we just had a situation with the kids. Apparently, last summer it started, but uh, the three boys, a couple of uh, nephews and, and some cousins, were doing the fucking take the turn on the jets by the pool. Good for yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Foley was mad it was his turn. <laughs> you Come on, man. Out <laughs> you hey, kids get out of here. What are you doing? That's my jet. Go ahead and eat a fucking jacuzzi. Oh. No, yeah, they were fucking taking turns on that. Fucking, my mom had to put the kibosh on that real quick. Fucking not Yeah, you can't have kids fucking the pool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you gonna, what you just gonna let them do that? All take turns putting their fucking stinger in the hole? <laughs> I got hot dogs on you boys. Hurry up over there. <laughs> Holy shit. All uh, right. So all right. stuff with your uh, good stuff with your sisters. That's pretty good. Uh, were you a miracle whip or, or a Hellman's mayonnaise family? Uh, Ugh, I don't know. I was neither. I guess mayonnaise. Are you a no mayonnaise guy? I've grown into it. Yeah. But, uh, grown up now. Never. Yeah. I didn't it's a touch pretty classy stuff. thing. Because I love it, and yeah. I know that's fucking garbage. If you don't like mayonnaise, you're okay in my book because you're a little bit of a classy individual. Because I'm trash. I love it. <laughs> um, Go ahead, did, Kip. Did, you, was, you said it was like a nicer house. Single family home, I presume? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a garage? Yes, we have a two-car garage. Ooh. All right, I have a two-part question. Could you park two cars in that garage, or was it filled with shit? The garage, you can't park one car in it. Oh, that's <laughs> it fucking, is, that I'm is trash you. shit. What's in I'm there? What's you. in there? Well, Is there like uh, a boat in there that doesn't run? A couple of jet well, skis my, or something? My sister that got addicted to heroin has all her stuff in there. Shout mm. out to her. She lives here. <laughs> 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 so, and, uh, yeah, the whole thing's uh, filled with Just like shit. Three, different, three different failed ventures to live by themselves. Uh, uh, piled back in a couple of coffee see. tables multiple yeah, coffee someone, tables and like shit. dressers in there <laughs> yeah um, uh, okay yeah that's the thing it's it's a it's it's a shell of a nice house that's exactly with, that's i grew up the same exact way um just now, dog shit. did you have a refrigerator in that garage there was a freezer okay uh, now there's nothing now that there is a refrigerator down in the back room here in the basement that's for real fucking it's got to be 25 years old of course yeah, yeah yeah, and uh it's got it still works and there's there's a milwaukee's best in there that's been there since i was in high <laughs> since school high school yeah, yeah that yeah. no one has touched dude it's i got a, i got a can crazy. of natty light in mind literally from high school i might i might go get it and look at it this yeah, thing's crazy it's a relic you fucking chug that shit you kidding me a fucking old milwaukee i wonder what it if for real it must have expired in like oh three does beer go bad yeah there's definitely a i think after it, like yeah. a decade <laughs> like for sure yeah i don't think there's preservatives in it so no garage fridge no no fridge with like a you know ice fridge. pops you have a second there was fridge. a big freezer yeah yeah what's in there hunting meat and stuff it was now there's nothing now there's okay. nothing does that your dad hunt? Gone. swear his sister sleeps uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't sure if you're gonna laugh at that one yeah i don't give a fuck okay. uh well Eat she's got cancer down. she's got cancer now so laugh it up uh <laughs> Does she really? I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's wow, all right, God, though. I'm sorry to hear that. Cool. No, it's a, fuck it. It's actually, it's working out for her. You get, you get more sympathy for cancer than heroin. Oh, that yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a lot more loving. Um, the hunting, Phil, my dad hunted. I never did. Okay. Classy. Yeah. Very good. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fishing. I like fishing. Uh, I suck at it, but yeah, there was always like bait. There's a lot of bait and shit in the fridge. But he he gave up on that. He wasn't he wasn't an outdoorsman either. Did he have a night crawler guy for a little while? Somebody yeah, get his yeah, night crawlers yeah. from. I just got some night crawlers. I was down in Virginia fishing, uh, and night crawlers are fucking terrible. They suck to use as bait. <laughs> no, I thought they were the good ones. They're no, huge, you man. Me. You got to fucking. They're huge, and you got to like hold big, them dude. still and just gut these motherfuckers. <laughs> and while the they're fucking alive. jizz they give off on your fingers oh, is tough. Fucking yeah. terrible. And they obviously they don't like the hook. They're like moving around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> they know what's up. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. You know, you're hurting these fucking yeah. things. One of us ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just for me to catch a fish that I don't even want to catch, just for me to, because then I can catch a fish and I feel bad. For that too, I got to rip a hook out of its throat. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, it's not worth it. 
Do you have a, hunting. Do you have other family that live in the area, like cousins and all that kind of stuff, like around the yeah. area? Yeah, yeah. Although they, a lot of them have made the jump to Florida. Ooh, wow, yeah. that's real yeah. garbage. It's always a tough. Uh, yeah, right. and not and not like nice Good Florida, Florida, like uh, yeah. not Cocoa retiring. Beach. No, like Cocoa Beach ranch houses. Uh, uh, dude, ranchers ranch. are, ranchers yeah. are ranchers are tough. A rancher in Florida ain't no coming back from that, dude. There ain't no you don't you don't you don't go back yeah. up a level. No, and they're all everybody's alcoholics. They're all raging, <laughs> raging alcoholics. Uh, Here's a good one. Here's a, my aunt that lives down there now. One one year at Christmas, uh, so this gives you a good idea of the family because they uh, they all did pretty well financially, but uh, my uncle is a hard ass and he stood up and was like, this is the middle of Christmas. This guy just stands up and is like, holds up a drink. We're about to open gifts and he holds up a drink. And he's like to all the Gillises that couldn't be here. And they're all like, yeah, cheers. And then my dad, my dad stood up and held up a drink. It was like to all the men and women in the service. <laughs> and we all drank. And then, uh, <laughs> and then my aunt who was sitting on like a, a, a tall chair with her feet kind of hooked into the bar just fell face first <laughs> after we saluted the troops and then my aunt passed out and landed on her forehead and then uh my other uncle yelled out because everybody got quiet for a second my uncle yelled out he's like somebody get that woman a drink and we were oh, like, oh. it's a classic yeah, uncle yeah, yeah. line dude <laughs> yeah, it was fucking great it's like a it's like a progressive commercial what the fuck man? <laughs> now they're all down in florida <laughs> what's up i'm mayhem it's just a bottle of jack daniels flying through your house well, the reason um, I the reason I asked you is because I wanted to know when you were a kid and you guys would like go on like little trips with the family. Have you ever taken a trip with your family that required multiple vehicles where you followed each other, like followed each other to Knobles Grove, yes. or some shit like that? Yeah, 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 for sure. Because we would always go with my cousins and shit. So, yeah, That's always real. multiple multiple yeah. bands of kids. That's real trash. Just a man. caravan of garbage yeah. going yeah. through central Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you, yeah. They don't have to do that now because you got the GPS. But I remember fucking like three and four cars like driving to some fucking uh, zoo somewhere. And none of them were Maseratis, uh, I'll tell you that. They were all like fucking station uh, wagons. I remember it. It was, a green, uh, it was a green Mercury van. I remember it. Oh, fuck. a green I van's a tough a look. While. Yeah, we had like a dark green van. Um... This was one, since you're from the area, so we play with the people from the area. Did you ever go to uh, Bush Gardens? Uh, yeah, but the one in Virginia, is that where yeah, it is? Yeah, that's the one in yeah. Virginia. Colonial, yeah. I went there once. Colonial Williamsburg, my friend. I went to Colonial Williamsburg on a fifth grade field trip. Uh, uh, the school is not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, I went to Bush Gardens. We I was more of a Gettysburg guy. I used to go down to Gettysburg a lot. That was That's, that's one of my next questions. Did you ever go to uh, Gettysburg reenactment? Bro, I loved Gettysburg reenactments. Oh, I was watching, dude. I love that. Is some watching. garbage stuff. I was watching Grant last night on the History Channel. That shit rules. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Uh, no, I've loved the Civil War for. I mean, I, I would go to Gettysburg like if I f needed time to reflect. Mm -hmm. I still do that. Like I'll drive to Gettysburg by myself and like stare at a battlefield and be like, Yeah, all right, my girlfriend, you know, is living with a different guy. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just look out over the field like Lauren Michael said, uh, maybe next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like the week the week of the SNL thing, me and O'Connor were at uh went down to Gettysburg. Just fucking hung and I got out. in trouble. They tried some lady tried to like get me in trouble for that because we made fun of Gettysburg on the podcast, the most recent podcast before I got canceled. And it was oh, like shit. we were calling the Confederate soldiers fucking gay and uh <laughs> talking about how Connecticut only sent down like sweet boys for the Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> and this lady like <laughs> typed out a transcript about it and was like he doesn't respect the civil war <laughs> and everyone was like all right that's actually funny this he maybe <laughs> <laughs> confederates definitely misguided we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that definitely misguided. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all me. right <laughs> um at a family party you guys serve jaeger uh probably when it was popular Mm -hmm. it, there was always yeah, people but the, like i said everybody was is alcoholics now and they had to every a lot of people had to stop drinking okay all right so uh now they're trying some of them are still just, just going yeah fuck it and uh so yeah the, i don't know i unfortunately i had to the last couple of years i haven't gone to the fucking family christmas party 
because of the fucking career. Yeah. But right. yeah, you've, Jaeger, you've been Jaeger working. Was, yeah, I've been working. Jaeger okay. was definitely there for sure. So they went through the cycles of all that. Whatever yeah, I'm the sure popular... there was Fireball. Fireball yeah, was there. Fireball is big in my family. Yeah. Big Fireball. Still? Yeah, dude, we're fucking trash. <laughs> oh, dude, man. they buy sweet tea vodka. Instead of mixing it with, like, lemonade, they mix it with vodka. They do that and Tito's together. <laughs> like Jesus fucking Christ. animals. Good Lord, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're fucking trash. Hey, away oh. from the Ryan house, I'll tell you that. Jesus Christ. Is there currently a car parked on your lawn that works or doesn't work? No, no, no. Okay. No. Okay. Have no. you ever they owned? They can't do that. Have you ever owned a sports team hat or jersey that had camouflage on it? Yes. Ooh, what was it? Uh, I think I had a camo Eagles hat like this year. And I lost <laughs> it. Lost it at a rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> Got beat Eagles, up by, yeah. by another trucker. <laughs> yeah, Eagles gets a pass. Found that. Yeah, actually, you know what? It wasn't camo. It was one of those fucking, uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, like a worker's hat. What the fuck is the Carhartt? Car yeah, it was like a Carhartt Car Eagles hat. It's pretty gotcha. sick. Yeah. I'm going to get another one. Do you own anything with the true camo technology? Yes. I have yeah, a okay. Sheets long sleeve camo. <laughs> that uh Dude, that's ultra I, garbage Holy it's sheets camo is fucking sick and i also yeah. took this is funny i took a picture like in a mirror like acting like i was taking a very serious selfie wearing it mm -hmm. obviously anybody that knows me knew it was a joke but when i was getting canceled they used that image <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> shit i've seen yeah. that yeah yeah, sheets yeah. camo like uh, <laughs> shit. like that was Jesus the really Christ. paint you was like alt right yeah fucking. what uh, the fuck uh, I remember yeah. look. I remember looking over to my. I was with some my my wife. I think, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, they're really fucking doing them dirty. With oh, that they're picture. getting me. That ain't doing you any favors. <laughs> hey, don't you know that guy? Nah, I never met him. <laughs> <laughs> That's, too That's good. so fucked up. Uh, anywhere in your house, is there a half a bottle of windshield wiper fluid? <laughs> yeah. For That's certain. Every garage. hundred percent. Yeah. That's bad news. Yeah. There's actually also like 50 cans of paint for some reason in my garage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just That's for literally one, for man. no reason. <laughs> cans of paint in the garage. Just old, useless cans of paint. <laughs> Why don't we throw it out? I don't understand. I, you never know. And what's crazy is they go back like five years later, like, oh, we still got some paint in the garage. That shit's yeah, fucking like just hardened. separated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's from the rock. previous homeowner. It's not even from like yeah. shit you did. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, have you ever ridden a golf cart not on a golf course? Uh, yeah, probably. All right. Sometimes, yeah, like, a, sometimes an so. uncle has one to like drive to go get the mail. No. Or whatever. Yeah. Did I you guess steal not. it? No. Did no, you steal it? We used to steal some golf carts on the, yeah. But no, that was always out of course. There's a, there's a lot of golf courses around here. Dude, yeah. riding a golf cart is fucking clean living. I just wow. did it uh, two weeks ago. My friends were out golfing, and I can't golf for shit, so I just went out to drink. That's the and, best. Uh, I love that. I'll take an eight like, on this one. You're just in the uh, back fucking chugging I was wearing beers. gym shorts and flip-flops, and uh, yeah, it was great. Just anybody, drinking. Anybody so who fun. gets a caddy, you're fucking nuts. People get a caddy. Let's get a caddy. What the fuck out of here? Uh, in the fucking car no. zipping around. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you ever? Yeah, this paid will show you. This is this is so. It's like here's what I'm saying. It's like a nice house, but then there's hold on. I can't. I turned me off on here. There we go. I every time I do this, I look at my own you fucking your, picture. You look at yourself too it's much. Crazy, yeah. but uh, yeah, that's oh. You know, for, for the listener, <laughs> nice for the audio out. listener, <laughs> Shane just showed us a drop ceiling with a fucking tile moved out of place, like yeah. he was reaching for a handgun. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> This Plus, I saw some I saw some water damage on that one panel. What's going on? Yeah, you, got, you got a leak upstairs? Yeah, my mom uh, clogged the toilet here, and the the ceiling dropped out in the basement. <laughs> Fucking taking dumps, dude. Yeah, my mom dropped one hard. She oh. shits like a dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Um, anyone in your family have truck nuts? No. No. Okay. No truck. Although I do have a cousin. Uh, that he's never not wearing gym shorts all year <laughs> round and almost never has sleeves. Like, uh, oh, dude, that's tough. And he's, he is the funniest fucking dude in the world. He, uh, he wore a Purdue 
windbreaker to his brother's wedding. <laughs> you were a pullover windbreaker. To Where his was the wedding? Fucking, uh, at a hotel in Mechanicsburg. <laughs> was it, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was the wedding cash bar? Uh, no, no, no. You can't. Do, uh, I don't remember. I remember my cousin wanted me to do stand up. Oh, dude. And I've done stand up at a wedding. It does I not end it. well. I tried, to, I tried to avoid it, and uh, I got there late. And I still write when I walked in. As soon as I walked in the door, they were like, oh, he's here. Uh, Shane, why don't you say a few words? And uh, all I did was make fun of my cousin Frankie, who was wearing the pullover. And uh, he had a dead front tooth. His one, uh, he, he was lifting and he, he dropped a weight on his fucking tooth. So he just has a cracked purple tooth. Jesus and, uh, Christ. Yeah, I just made fun of his dead tooth. And his mom, his, his mom, during making fun, I was like, may your love live forever like Frankie's dead tooth. <laughs> his mom audibly was like, Jesus Christ, Shane. <laughs> pretty great. And I was like, that's all I got. I said, like, one thing. I made fun of Frank. <laughs> that's so Holy good. Holy shit. We always had somebody in the family that would show up to a wedding fucking wearing, like, khakis or something like that. You're like, dude, what are you doing? I think dude? he was wearing khakis and a windbreaker, to be oh, honest. That is fucking uh, they're, they That family is fucking nuts. That, that side of my family is – they're probably my favorite people to hang out with. Their, their dad is uh, my dad's brother, and he, he fucking uh, – he's, he's the smart one of the family. He was the oldest – and he uh, he like went to, he went to Notre Dame, and then he after Notre Dame he volunteered and joined the Marines in Vietnam. Jesus, and then nice. and then he got out and became a prison warden. Uh, Damn, he's a fucking hard ass, but he's funny. He's very fucking funny. And his kids, they're from like the coal region. His wife, so they're from like Shimokin. And that's you want to see some fucking white trash, dude? Go oh, to Shimokin. Dude, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Anywhere in the coal region is fucking. It's crazy. They're all like Ukrainian and shit. A bunch of like Pollocks from the dog mines. wrestlers and shit. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Worst. <laughs> true white trash is act- very true very, white trash is Eastern European. Yeah, very Eastern European up up in Northeast Pennsylvania. But yeah. those dudes, those dudes in Nam that volunteered, those guys are fucking badasses. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, and then he came back and was again. He was a prison warden. And what's funny is it like transformed him. So he was around. Uh, all the people he worked with were black dudes in like the eighties. So that's how he talks now. What's up, Jive? So like he, that's awesome. For real, 100%. He's like, you motherfuckers. How's it going, you Jive motherfuckers? Like, that's awesome. What's up, man? Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> Last time I was with them, they have a house out in South Bend. So they, they're always, they go to every single Notre Dame game. My cousins, here's a good one. My cousins, uh, they lived here. They lived in Mechanicsburg. And they would go, they would drive to every single Notre Dame game, uh, which is like a, 10 hour drive there were days where they would leave friday night to get there for a you know 3 p.m kickoff on saturday and drive back after the game lunatics dude that's insanity lunatics last time i was there they were eating ham salad (laughs) yeah ham salad you know what it's called it's called monkey meat that's an upstate Pennsylvania thing. We had really? that when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, it was, it was it, the grossest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, that's oh, where they're from. Great. The fucking coal region. Ham, it was, it's like a pink paste. You put yeah, on like a hot dog bun. Oh, it's, dude. It's the most disgusting shit I've ever seen. Dude, I'm going to throw up. I'll that's tell you what's in gross. it. I'll tell you what's in it. My aunt makes it. It's unbelievable. It's chopped ham, a little bit of relish, and mayo. Fantastic. It's like garbage pate. It's, it's some of the grossest shit I've ever seen. Actually, I... I uh, Here's a picture of my cousin Frank. Also, he's again. He's wearing a Purdue, <laughs> Purdue basketball jersey during the day. Uh, eating oh, I'm thinking he didn't go to Purdue. Fucking, oh, uh, my shout out to God. Frankie boy. What <laughs> up, Frankie? The man. Frankie is the best. There he is eating a ham salad sandwich. Oh my <laughs> God, dude! Oh, look! Here's the here's the windbreaker at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, now, like, what it was? What, was he go to Purdue? what did he say he went, when you when you shit on him? You're like, dude, you're like, clearly, I just saw the picture of you. You're wearing a suit and tie, and what yeah. does he? What were you like? Why aren't you in a suit? And he's like, this is okay. He, yeah, of course. He's like, I'm not wearing a fucking suit. Come on. He. This is a guy who, during the Christmas parties or any party, he'll lay on the couch. Like the whole family will be in the room. Uh, and he's just People laying on the fucking couch. Dude. He lays on the couch. He also always has a jug of iced tea as a spitter. 
Oh, oh my god, god. that's <laughs> so shit. Dude, if you got a if, you, if so you're carrying funny. a spitter at Christmas, you're fucking trash. <laughs> Let's get your uncle or your cousin on next episode. Yo, it's got, he, a little, you it's got a little bow on it. He's nuts. You'd love him. Oh, that's oh, too fucking god. funny. Oh my dude, the spitter. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you would carry around a jug of iced tea to drink, yeah, but the no. spitter is over the top. Jug of iced tea always has a gym bag with him. He never goes days. to the gym. <laughs> no, he goes to the gym every day, dude. He's jacked. He's so strong. <laughs> gym bags are garbage, though, man. Yeah, he's yeah. got that retard wears, strength. Yeah, he carries around a weight belt and a oh, gym bag man. filled with skull. He sounds like my favorite fucking guy. That's awesome. He's my favorite. He was just telling me how uh, skull doesn't kill you. I was like, I really need to. I was like, I really need to quit dip because I dip. And I was like, I got to quit soon. He's like, it doesn't, it doesn't kill you. I'm fine. And then he smiles. He's got like, <laughs> he starts benching. He's like, dude, I'm fine. <laughs> His teeth crazy. are falling out. Yeah. It makes you strong like me. <laughs> oh, that is Holy too fucking shit. funny. Have you ever paid for anything with a money <laughs> order? Uh, no, I don't think so. Very nice. Right. That's financial stability right there. That's no. not too shabby. Does anybody, um, does anybody you know when you were growing up ever been seriously injured in an ATV or mini bike accident? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of – that was something that would happen a lot uh, around here, for sure. Those ATVs are fucking dangerous, man. Yeah, a lot of people out here had ATVs and shit, and kids would just get fucked up on those things. Yeah, um, sure. Have you ever rented a snowmobile for, like, the hour? I have of- not. Okay. I have not. That's always that's always a real fucking trashy thing. Someone who rents a snowmobile for an hour to go in a circle <laughs> at like Big Boulder or something, dude. Hit oh, the fucking shit. bricks. No, I never did that. Now, now you mention it, it's, sounds, it's fun, but it's like you incredible. know, it's like the same people that rent a wave runner and just like zip around. Yeah. Um, Do you currently have a pocket knife? No. Why are you Not laughing? A, no. Currently, I it? do not. No, it's a funny question. No, I don't have one now. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah, I fucking dude, pocket oh, knives were big. As needed a, kid. a pocket knife. Oh, needed one, dude. You never knew yeah. what was going to pop off. Um, Shaner probably Shaner. still has. Shaner, yeah. no, dude. We just did a podcast with him and fucking six, and he like pulled yeah. out. Dude, he pulled out like a snub nose shotgun out of nowhere. We were like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, Shaner's a fucking idiot. Um, he's the man. He's the man. He's the dude. He's the, he's my favorite. Um, yeah. Have you ever owned a wrist rocket? uh no bb gun have not uh yeah just got a, actually i just got my first bb <gasps> gun probably in the last that's real fucking what? Crash. <laughs> in the last like eight you went years. to west point and we're technically on snl and <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just bought a bb gun i got a bb gun and a chevy cruise out of all that Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so things are looking up <laughs> i gotta chevy use cruise. chevy cruise <laughs> which now it's just sitting in queens i gotta go oh pick my that up God. That's fucking hilarious. You gotta watch if yeah. they bring that alternate side parking back. You're fucked. Fucking take it. If they take it, I'll, I'll literally... <laughs> just let me get the, the BB gun out of the back. <laughs> let me get the fucking my handgun. <laughs> I got a box of eagle eyes in the back. I got actually. Get you're. You know what? On fucking uh, on Monday during Memorial Day, my niece and nephew were over, and I was trying to find the BB gun, and my mom, I think, got rid of it. I was in the garage yelling, "Where's the BB gun?" <laughs> And uh, there were some disputes after that. If you show a little kid a BB gun, that's like the fucking end yeah, all. Yeah, I'm trying all. to be the coolest fucking guy yeah. possible. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking wild. Growing up, would your dad ever continue driving just to listen to the rest of a song? Um, like I would little say, Merle Haggard I would was say definitely. My dad, my dad was a big Motown guy. That's all really? he listens to is all he listens to to this day is Motown. He listens to the same fucking twelve songs. That's classy. Though. Motown's repeat. smooth. Yeah, he's a big Motown guy. So uh, if my girl was playing, he'd take an extra lap around the neighborhood. Un- undoubtedly, <laughs> undoubtedly. Here's the, the Phil had some good. He would always uh, he'd always turn. The, so like, let's say I wanted to go like rent a video game or go to McDonald's or something. He would always turn the turn signal on like he was gonna go that way. <laughs> and then not go that way that's oh, a that's big awesome. move that's yeah. a dad move right there uh, he also my family would do this this is this is kind of trashy now looking back <laughs> they would park <clears throat> after church after church which sometimes me and my dad would drop my sisters and mom off at church and say we were going to park the car and just go get a car wash and uh <laughs> pick awesome. them up after church uh but he they would get they would take me out of the car and i would have to race the car from the top of the neighborhood to my house uh 
they would go, you know, they would tell me that I, I was fast enough to beat the car. And uh, I would literally, I would trip on the curb every single time. <laughs> every single time I would fall off the curb and my family would drive slowly next to me, just waiting for me to fall. <laughs> and that was every Sunday and I never stopped. <laughs> Your parents from Jackass? <laughs> never, what the yeah, fuck? What? Yeah, never stopped. I'm Mrs. Thought Gillis, and this it. is Jackass. <laughs> yeah, she's a teacher. She's a fifth grade teacher. <laughs> like, oh, my son's a fucking idiot. Look at him. Uh, oh, um, uh, okay, I think I only have one or two more. Uh, I think two more. Have you ever been to a strip club with a family member? I don't think so. Okay. No. That's always that's always that always crosses a weird line in a family. Dynamic. Well, yeah, especially it would just be obviously it would be a cousin. Uh, it'd be weird if I went with my sisters. <laughs> do either, do either <laughs> or saw them there. <laughs> yeah. No, do there's no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> gonna be really, I was gonna be. I was yeah, gonna be yeah, really yeah. mean to my sisters. Yeah, yeah, for no don't reason. Don't, yeah, no, no, no need. Neither one of us know her. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did either one of your parents smoke? Uh, no, my dad dipped. Okay. Uh, no. But you smoke, right? I'll smoke cigarettes. Uh. So I'm not dipping. There you go. You at, ever let at it? the? Uh, you can't dip at the fucking comedy clubs. People get very upset. Yeah. Other um, comics. And now it's definitely a bad look. <laughs> 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 now I gotta change my ways. Stay away from that. I'd keep the sheets. Uh, <laughs> the yes. Sheets camo. Sheets camo in the closet for a little while. Ah, oh, fuck. You I'm need you, you need some salmon polo shirts, buddy. True. Uh, do you ever light a, light a cigarette with a grill lighter? uh for sure absolutely I just i did that this weekend garbage i did that no, this weekend you, on a you on a feel beach. like garbage i did that on this weekend on a beach cruiser on fucking surf avenue you, in north Iowa, new jersey who are you down at the beach with my family has a house so when this uh, all fucking yeah. happened me and my lady just came down here i've been down here for fucking oh months. nice it's chilling dude the ladies with you yeah the uh, the german yeah we got married oh shit nice. we got married in february then this all happened yeah is the German is she now? She's staying in America. She's here, baby. I'm a patriot. Yes. I brought my gal. I want. Yeah, yeah. You brought over that dirty German <laughs> motherfucker. No. I feel. I feel like Shane's about to report you to ICE. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, I don't <laughs> like it. Where, where are you at exactly down there? <laughs> <laughs> and this you said she doesn't have her papers on her. Is that what you're saying? She doesn't have her papers on. Her? <laughs> His cousin Frank shows up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last. Yeah, that's the last guy. Some guy in a Purdue hoodie outside. <laughs> yeah. Didn't All go right, I got one, and then this is it for me. Do does you or anybody in your family? I'm assuming extended family. Uh, for the word wash, do they say warsh? Warsh, warsh. Uh, yes, yeah. 100%. Uh, a hundred percent. The lady that one. makes the ham, the lady that my aunt that makes the ham salad, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> says warsh. Wash your hands before you make the ham salad. Warsh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's some people in my family that have that fucking like Western Central PA fucking accent. Yeah, like it's warsh weird, and isn't crick it? and yins. It's it's yeah, almost like a tough. it's almost like a Chicago accent in some parts, isn't it? Strange? Yeah, it's, it it definitely becomes Midwest. Like yeah. as soon as you leave Philly, it starts to transform into the Midwest. Like mm -hmm. Pittsburgh is, as far as the, the you know the people, it's a Midwest city. Oh, yeah, a hundred percent for sure. Yeah, fucking Yins getting downtown. Yeah, you we know? just Yins. had Raina, Raina Greenberg was just on from Girls. Got oh, Eat, nice. And she had a she, she said Yins. I was like, that's disgusting. I'll it take really is. Use and John all day. Yes. Uh, I I just <clears throat> I can't stop saying alls. That's a very uh, I don't that? know what the fuck that is, but like alls you have to do. Oh, oh that's I don't know why. Fucking trash. I thought yeah, that my was mom a word. and I. No alls. Alls you gotta do. Alls, alls you, you gotta do. do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I still I'm say that. I down here I've heard a couple of times everywheres. Like, I, I looked everywhere, so I can't find it anywhere. So and I'm like, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can't. The central PA accent I have is, it comes out a little when I say, like, home and shit like that. But uh, I also do this thing where, I like, I'll, I'll ask a question that's just a sentence. And it's obvious that someone's, like, if someone's walking outside, I'll be like, going outside. Like, I, I can't, I can't stop doing it. That's the only thing that's, Yeah trashy man anyway. that's you can't get away plus being back at the house the trash tendencies come out Ooh. more oh yeah i've been uh yeah if if i'm in mechanicsburg too long dude i am trump 2020 yeah a lot, a lot of fox, a lot of fox trump news out there man oh phil phil Yikes. watches fox news i was i was joking about it on my uh on matt and shane's secret podcast uh but uh 
Fox News, I realized, is just like white dudes respond to Fox News the same way like black ladies at church do. Like my dad just sits there. Fox News is black church for white guys. Like he just mm-hmm. sits there. Tucker Carlson will say something to my dad. I'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like he audibly reacts to the television the whole time. The yeah. whole time. Fox News, it's like a dog seeing dogs on television. Like that's how dads react to Fox <laughs> News. Like something will, they'll see Obama and be like, oh. <laughs> They start looking behind the shit. TV. They start looking behind the TV. Where is he? Where is that Kenyan Muslim? Holy shit. Have you ever, uh, or anybody in your family ever towed your own car? Oh, like, that's like, a tough one. Like you're in a car towing a car. Or it could be one of the really small U-Hauls that you hook uh, up. Just the two front, like the, 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 you put the two front tires on it? Garbage. I don't think. I don't think we've done that. I mean, I'm sure... My cousins have, but no, not in my direct family, no. I'm sure Frank has. Frank, he's done, yeah. I think he drives a truck. You know, know what else is done. really trashy, too? If you ever push a car with your car, like put it in neutral. I've done that. And then, like, done that. push it down the, the side of the highway yes. to get to the exit or something. <laughs> yes. Have, have, you ever had the, have you ever, you guys ever had to pop a car where it's a stick and it won't start and you keep it in neutral and, and then you push, push it, it and pop it in the gear? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I used to do that Never to, had get it. To, to get to school. We had to do that move for a little while. <laughs> That's 80 shit, dude. They got, rid of, they got rid of manual transmissions in the 90s. Yeah. They're the best, man. They're the fucking best they're so fun to drive last question shane gillis are you garbage do you guys put up trains at christmas uh we That's had yes. a train set uh we had a train set it was garbage. never really put together uh i tried to put it together every year because i was a big fan of it it said Santa Fe on the side of it. I remember oh, yeah. that. The Santa Fe was it, it yeah. was silver and red. It was it was amazing. And uh no. We never really got to it, but it did stay in the house for about twenty years. That's for sure. In fact it, in fact I bet I could go in that back room in this basement and for real find it. I have I have one twenty feet away from me hanging on the wall. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, My yeah. uh there's a shelf in here that has 30 Hess trucks on it. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> for no reason. Hess trucks are garbage. Yeah. My, my grandma. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I almost, I almost fucking choked. <laughs> yeah. Would buy me Hess trucks every year for my birthday. Actually, she Dude. just died. And uh, so this, that her. was the last. Yeah, she was all right. This is the last, last Hess truck I got. I got 30 Hess trucks. Dude, Holy I never, no shit. one in my family ever did Hess trucks. I didn't know anything about it. I guess I missed all the commercials as a kid. I went over to my buddy's house when we were like 12, and he had Hess trucks. And I'm like, what the They're fuck? Useless. That weird they fucking suck. gas station? What the Wait, fuck? Wait, hold on. You, you guys yeah. didn't like them? I fucking loved them, especially the later well, ones. They the lit up. Tr- they the lit up. There part. was an extra. Go ahead. They stopped letting me take them out. They stopped letting me take it. They, my, my parents thought it was like a currency. That's when you know invent- that's real garbage. Oh, I was gonna in inherit. The box? I was gonna inherit the mint condition Hess trucks oh, when Jesus. I got older, and nah, I could that's sell. That's why them. you hate them. They literally were trying to save. Like, let's say I sold thirty Hess trucks to somebody. How much do you think that would be worth? Eighteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'd lose <laughs> I mean, money on yeah. shipping. Yeah. Post in the yeah, ad. That was my inheritance. Money. Insane. Holy shit! Hash trucks. Funny. Yeah. Shane Gillis. Are you garbage, baby? He's trash. You're garbage, man. You're trash. No, I'm <laughs> <hatch. him>. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know no. what sinks it? The sinks it uh, for the listener. There is a a Penn State a framed Penn State picture, I believe, behind That's you. Notre Dame stopping Penn State because very look, nice. Like I, like I said earlier, there is a uh, well, at least there was a pretty staunch anti-Catholic, and you know, <laughs> yeah. so if you were if you hated Catholics, you really liked Penn State, and obviously, mm-hmm. if you're Catholic, you loved. So that rivalry was yeah. is still huge here for no reason. Wow. Like everybody hates Notre Dame or hates Penn State for sure. And what's the medal that's hanging off of it? All right. You might <laughs> got me here. Uh, <laughs> these are my dad's uh, girls' high school state championships that he is a volunteer coach for. Oh. <laughs> well, folks, that's the show. Yeah. Jane <laughs> Gillis. Yeah, hi, boys. Holy yeah, shit. Too funny. And I feel like an right, asshole, man. buddy. I taught it, it, I always try to get those intros right. I fucking forgot Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Oh, what a fucking matter. asshole. Don't feel bad about it. I'm sorry. Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Shane Gillis, is there anything else you want the uh, the folks to know? No. 
<laughs> no. Matter of fact, That's I don't right. want anybody knowing anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Holy shit, buddy. Thank you so Hi, much buddy. for coming on. We yeah, appreciate of course. it. Thanks, guys. We've been wanting to have you on for a while. It was so much fun. I know. Sorry I sucked about it. I also wow. never wanted to – I hate zooming in on. I hate Zoom podcasts. Yeah, Dude, they're tougher. Here, I just, this, but whatever. This whole thing has been in my head because I feel like I'm stepping on everybody because of the connection. I feel like a fucking asshole, and people yeah, are giving a shit for it. It's tough. Fuck them. I can't wait till it's over and we get back into the fucking studio. We definitely want to have you back on. It was so much yeah, fun. Yeah, I'd love to. You guys, uh, are great. Shane Gillis, everybody, buddy. Thank you. We'll let you go. Appreciate your time. All right, boys. All Thanks, right, bro. Guys. Later. Uh, now we want to move in to the to the squad. All right, to the Patreon fans we want to thank everybody that signed up so far we really really appreciate it um as you guys know if you want to uh, have a question sign up for the patreon you're going to get a lot of bonus content and we're going to get to read one of your questions we got a few of them right now that we want to go through kippy has them in a sealed envelope and uh we're going to find out what we got what do you got kip yeah so guys when you join uh the patreon i, I mean we're, we're getting hundreds of questions at this point and it's kind of impossible to get to all of them so kind of one of the perks of joining the Patreon is we will automatically read one of your uh, questions on an episode. And that brings us to now. Price Waterhouse Coopers was just at my front door, dropped off the envelope with all <laughs> the fucking questions. And like, man showed up. They crossed their T's and dotted their I's. Let's get to it. By the way, we got some fucking funny ass uh listeners also um some fucking real fucking garbage <laughs> some of these kids were asking questions i was like what the fuck where did you grow up a fucking trailer in mississippi <laughs> god damn buddy get a, get a glove get in a city will you <laughs> um all right this one is from a uh, patreon member chris james it's have you ever done donuts in an empty wet parking lot oh my god <laughs> dude well, dude, I've done donuts on people's front lawns. Let me take you back to the fall of 94. I was zipping around fucking Bluebell in a fucking 1989 Nissan SEV6 pickup truck. I thought I was Michael J. Fox at the end of Back to the Future. Just a fucking douchebag zipping around. And I specifically remember we went to some party at some kid's house who went to another school. He kicked us out. And on the way out the door, I fucking drove the truck across his parents' lawn and fucking turfed it and kept it moving. Dude, you were every, <laughs> you were every fucking dork from a high school movie ever. <laughs> With your fucking Letterman jacket on. Later, Mahoney. I'm fucking turf your lawn, dude. This fucking dork. And then I made you know, out with it, and then I made out with his mom and kept it fucking moving. I know you and your dirtbag friends fucking went into a parking lot on a rainy night. Yeah, no, well, I my car. I had a fucking '95 Chevy Lumina with the paint chipping off. I couldn't ever fucking get it. I couldn't get it cooking to you start doing to start doing donuts. I did do some wide circles though. I had a couple of figure eights I was doing. You'd snap a CV joint in two seconds. Oh, dude. I was fucking, I had a big old grandfather car was my first car. I crashed it like 10 times. Donuts in an empty parking lot. Garbage. That's, yeah. Some, at some point in my life, I thought that was cool. I'd look at somebody doing donuts. Like, oh, that yeah. That guy probably gets some fucking tail, dude. Like a fucking stunt car driver doing that. <laughs> they, got, they get out of the car with the helmet on. <laughs> with all due respect, Lucius, I'm going to do some driving. They crawl out through the window. Um... Okay, this is from Patreon member Nathan Growler. Have you ever worn jeans in the pool? <laughs> Dude, if you're wearing <laughs> denim on a beach or in a pool, you're fucking trash. Okay? Wait, does he, does he mean a full pair of jeans or like cutoffs? <laughs> it just says... Because I've you... been everywhere in a pair of cutoffs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to funerals and cutoffs. It was the 80s, baby. Where cutoffs were a set of Daisy Dukes was welcome wherever you go. <laughs> oh my God. I remember one kid, dude, I was a, I was a camp counselor at a, <laughs> and we went away to like Six Flags or something for the day. We took all the kids and this kid wore jeans and then he wanted to wear jeans in the fucking wave pool. And I was like, dude, every bone in my body will not let you get in those, get in that fucking wave pool in a set of dungarees. It ain't happening, dude. At least take your cigarettes out of your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you got to get back to work, kid? My nephew, my nephew today, he was swimming at the house and he jumped into the pool with his t-shirt on. I was all over that. I was like, no, 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 no. 
Get that fucking T-shirt off. He's like, but I like it. I'm like, we're a f- we're a fat family, all right. We let our titties, ha- we let our man boobs hang in the pool, okay? <laughs> we're a skins team, kid. Let's go. <laughs> Shirts and skins. Um, okay, this is uh from Matt D. Matt D. Krusty. Um, did you ever reuse plasticware like knives, forks, and cups? I feel like that that might be a thing you guys did. Did it yesterday, Memorial Day. Uh, putting fucking solo cups in the dishwasher like not, a real piece not of Not solo. Trash. Like like a, the second tier of plasticware. Uh, that's how you know you're trash when you fucking rate the, the, the fucking, the, the gauge of your plastic plates. Two-ply. We go two-ply. Throw oh, it there. Dude, that's fucking. I went over my, I remember a shout out to Flip who listens. I went over to my buddy Flip's house the one time and his grandma was like washing out solo cups and was like, <laughs> she tried to pour me a fucking Pepsi or something that had water in the bottom. I was like, yo, Dutz, I'll take a can from the garage fridge and keep it fucking moving. <laughs> you could taste the palm olive. I've had that. <laughs> yeah. Taste the fucking soap. Using a dirty sponge to clean out a one time use solo cup. Let's go. Give me a gla- Give me a chilled glass like a fucking, <laughs> like a gentleman. Oh, that's that's something. That, we got to put that down as a question. Did you ever have frosted mugs in the freezer? Oh, dude. In. I was drinking some from some frosted mugs a couple of weeks ago. Um, all right. Uh, this is from our girl Court. Shout out to Court. Um, Love you, Court. Have you ever put shredded or sliced cheese on plain macaroni to make mac and cheese? Yes, I've recently during the pandemic. I told you know that we were we. we heavily invested in uh macaroni and cheese shout out to the good people at craft but the night before we had taco night so i had some mild cheddar in the in the fridge and Buddy, I put, there's there's nothing mild about you okay i put that in the macaroni and cheese it really classes it up i'm not gonna lie Give that a nice good. bottle of pinot noir oh we got a nice night nice bag of pinot noir <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I've, I've definitely done it as a fact in my you know super fat kid days fucking some penne pasta with some broken up craft singles, throw it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Gooey goodness. That's what that is. You ever eat the shredded cheese out of the bag like a fucking animal? <laughs> Today, yeah, dude. Every time you if you if you're putting shredded cheese on on oh. something, you gotta take you gotta go oh. right to the fucking source, you know. Well, those for the doctor, huh? <laughs> but dude, you never ever ever get all the shreds in your mouth not oh, once no. that's like the crane game you go in there with a bib <laughs> you go in there with your fingers pull it up by the time it gets out it's all over the floor it's all over your shirt yeah you're rolling the dice in a clean kitchen you pull that fucking move oh man all right um i think you fall under this next category this is from our boy power ranger talk have you ever traveled with a plastic bag as part of your luggage yes yeah I don't know if I haven't. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm more of a gentleman, you know, more of a roller bag kind of guy. I'm very loose when it comes to the term <laughs> underwear. Carry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> carry on can mean a lot of things. No, it means one thing. It means a duffel bag or mm-hmm. the fucking backpack, which goes under your legs, or the little scooter, John, or the little roller boy. But I'm a big tote guy, Kippy. I like, to, I like to put my stuff in a tote. I've used a tote as a carry on. That's just because you don't have actual fucking luggage. That's why you use tote bags. Yeah, you know what happened is we were getting off the plane. My flip flop fell out, fell on the floor, and I held the line up. <laughs> took out a small Asian family with that with that fucking boat. It's like it's low bridge. Now I had to bend over and pick up a bunch of shit out of my tote that fell. People were waiting behind me, like ah, this fat fuck. Yeah, I would hate to be next to you on a plane. Um. Okay, this is from Meowbot. Have you ever faked an injury to get on a roller coaster or a plane faster? No, but I'm a big fan of pretending that I'm sick so I can get out of doing a lot of things. Get to the head of the drive through <laughs> Hey, I'm hey, a veteran. Hey, hurry it up. I'm sick up there. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, man. Have you ever done that? I think you have. I have. I think we pulled some, like, anxiety... You we did it. At, at let Disney me find, World. Yeah, well, we did You're it. You're garbage. Disney. Oh, I know. We did it at Disney. See, the the move at Disney is get a fast pass, so you can zoom around a little quicker. But the ones you can't get a fast pass on, you pull the old "I got fucking anxiety" business. You get right to the front of the line of the fucking Pirates of the Caribbean. Too sweet. I'll tell you that much. 
I got a 12 year old back here with PTSD. <laughs> yeah. The kid's got a weak heart. Let's he go. Was, he walked in on me fucking slapping my monkey one time. It hasn't been the same since. Get him on the teacups. Uh, man. Yeah, we've done that. Um, have you, all right, this is from Prince Atazukin. I'm going to butcher that. Prince Atazukin, have you ever been threatened or assigned court ordered counseling? This one's a little fucking dicey. No, but. I, in 11th grade, my girlfriend was over at her friend's house and there was a bunch of kids that were like freshmen in college that she was friends with. And there was a bunch of them there. And I called over there to talk to her and some dude picked the phone up. I'm like, Hey, is Jen there? And he's like, yeah, she's sucking my dick right now. And he didn't realize he was dealing Dad? with a fucking lunatic. So I hopped in my fucking truck and went over there and was banging on the door with a, with a knife in my hand. And before anybody came out, one of my buddy's mom showed up and they took me straight to Norristown State Hospital for evaluation. What were you going to do? You got any, you got any fucking butter? You got any room, <laughs> room temperature butter in there that I can spread easily? Schultz says it's okay. <laughs> my boy Schultz says it's all right. You know what's great about him? Just to say, like, he he can take apart an argument so yeah. well. Yeah. Like, that is such a good point. Like, just to think that poor people think that everything's going to go bad. So sure. they keep it in the fridge. Rich people, classy people keep it out. I don't know. I'm still on the fence a little bit about it, but I mean, I he, think he that's made probably, some good points. That's probably his Scottish roots. I bet his mom did that whenever there was butter in the house. Sure. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, this is from Jeff. Jeff, have you ever taken money, uh, taken money from a wishing well or like one of those wishing ponds? No, but I got busted when I was like maybe 10 years old. You know, they have those things at like, uh, drugstores where you put a quarter in. It, it, it's, it's, it's for like some charity. It's like, it looks like an advent calendar. And you kind put of, a, yeah, it's like St. Jude's or something. Yeah. You put a quarter in like a little slot, but it's all presented there. You were stealing the quarters? I stole all of them. And my mom caught me walking out the door, and I had to go back and give them to the pharmacist and all this shit. It was a whole big thing. That and the perk, the perk 30s you had. <laughs> hey, sorry about the quarters and these school buses I got in my pocket, buddy. <laughs> Jeez, uh, mister. Don't take home my zannies. <laughs> Leave some for me. Oh, God, you're garbage. Um, I did that one time. Shout out, or not one time. I think I've done it a couple of times. I would always throw it back in. It would be more like I needed, you know, I wanted more fucking action. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't fucking take it and put it in my pocket, be walking around with wet pockets like a jerk off. But I would take it and just, like, throw it back in or whatever. But shout out to Nishamini Mall. They had a mean fucking mall, big rocks around it. I think Ooh. you could stop that question. Have you, ever, have you ever stuck your hand in a wishing fountain? Because those yeah. things are disgusting. Oh, that like weird. There was always like cookies in the bottom of it or, you know, somebody throw a lollipop in there. There's a weird slime on the floor. Yeah. I don't think those things are around that much anymore. Um, oh, this one's pretty funny. Uh, this is from pa Patreon. Charlie Frank, have you ever, have you or a family member ever worn a motorsports brand, either Arctic Cat or Fox Racing Jacket as their primary winter coat? <laughs> Did you ever see some dude walking through like fucking Target that looks like he parked a snowmobile out front? It's like, buddy, get a car. What are you doing? Go to, a, go to fucking H&M, get a, get a coat like a fucking gentleman. I always saw dudes that wore motorcycle jackets when they weren't riding a motorcycle was garbage. Oh, Some yeah. dude with a shoe jacket on. That'd be like me walking around with a jacket that says I'm a comedian. You know what I mean? Like who? You just want you want to show what you are when you're not on the bike. I walking around with a scuba suit on. <laughs> hey, it's summer in Aruba. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, I've definitely had like a Fox Racing T-shirt, and I've never been on a fucking dirt bike or anything. Um, all right, this is from Patreon. Elliot J, have you or a family member ever purchased anything from QVC or the Home Shopping Network? I got a hunch that your garbage mom spends most of her day posted up with a couple of Marlboros and the phone ready. Let me tell you something. Back in the early 90s, okay, there was a mad rush on several items that you could only get through QVC or the Home Shopping Network. And my aunts and my mom would like take turns like, so, like they were calling in a radio station for fucking uh, Bon Jovi tickets. 
to try to get a couple of these That's items. One of them was the electric ashtray. Do you know what that was? It was yeah, in a, it sucked. It had like an exhaust fan on it or whatever. That just right? blew back out into the air. It, it yeah, was like, a, yeah, it just blew it out the side instead of the top. Oh, Dude, what, your family is deep rooted <laughs> garbage. You, your family hatched like a Ponzi scheme to get something to smoke more cigarettes in the house. You weren't. Nobody was using that thing outside. <laughs> that's an in the house smoking apparatus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man, that's fucking trash. That's one thing we never. My mom never. That was always viewed as for us as like scams. You know what I mean? Like anything you see on TV is a scam. Oh, we ordered tons of shit like that. <clears throat> Ginsu knives, fucking all, all that stuff. I yeah, think Ginsu, even- Ginsu knives was made by like a Jewish dude in Long Island. That was no like. There was no like samurai who came up with that. I think we even had a chopper. What was that thing where they chopped uh, like stuff the, up? Yeah. It turns around or whatever. It was that so ended up small. Being, yeah, people started, they started, you know, those things became widely accepted. Pampered <laughs> Chef, I think, made a couple of them. <laughs> Shout out to PC. Um, uh, this one, I'm a fuck. My mom, did we, used to, this, we used to make a day out of this. Have you ever repurposed old T-shirts as a rag? Oh, what? Dude, that's all through the 90s. My mom would just be like, these shirts are getting cut up. And we would just sit, cut them up and use them. I remember that time that bitch cut up my G.I. Joe shirt. I used to <laughs> fucking love that thing, dude. You're cleaning the fucking toilet with that? <laughs> I know. My fucking G.I. Joe shirt. Oh, that's funny, dude. That brings back some fucking memories. <laughs> you know what's garbage, too, though? Everybody has it. It makes me think of it. I was trying to figure out a question that how to ask that. But, like, when old clothes become like cleaning clothes or paint clothes. Yeah. That one pair of jeans that has paint on it that you always had to wear if you were doing shit like that. My mom has like three outfits like that. Yeah. You know what's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <Never> mind. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a couple other outfits. <laughs> <laughs> you should see what she wears to work in the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> Couple of nurses uniforms. She didn't graduate high school. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if that degrees on the fucking on the on the up and up, but let me tell you something else. Hell of a bedpan extraction. Um I uh <laughs> what the fuck? I forget what I was gonna say. Oh, the growing up, especially in the suburbs, was uh if you had your the, the set of grass cutting shoes that were just all green. Oh you know? yeah. Oh, dude, you had to put those things on every week. Man. That fucking stunk. Every dad, when he went out to cut the lawn in the fucking 80s and 90s, looked like a goober. Had a, had a white, a pair that was originally a white pair of New Balances that were now green. You know what's really trashy that was a big dad move? Was the uh, the short sleeve sweatshirt. Oh, that was big. That was a big 80s thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was always cut, like, too high up on the bicep. Or on the, on the, on the, yeah, the bicep. Yeah. Is that what, that's how out of shape you are? <laughs> What's the arm one? What's the one on the arm? You I thought it was the, I thought it was the tricep. <laughs> but that's a dinosaur. Go ahead. The triceratops. <laughs> um, oh my god, you're fat and dumb. Um, all right, just a couple more. Uh, bu- 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 we'll get to the rest later. Um, this is from Jeff. My family never did this. Have you ever kept the grease from bacon or pork chops in a coffee can to cook with later? No, but my best friend growing up, Rodney Klein, who was African American, his mom did that. And dude, she was it's good it, eating. It's fucking great eating. I know my dad, my my grandmother, when I was a kid, my dad tells me is that his mom would make bacon in a cast iron skillet and then take the bacon out and then use that grease to make the eggs. That's what that's I think if you're reusing it right away, yeah, sure. I mean saving it to like use it a later date to me is like Oh, that 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 grease can at some of my friends' houses smelled so bad. Just do, just do shots of it like it was cutty. <laughs> look at, look at <laughs> two bacon <laughs> grease and a tall boy snap. I'll tell you the whole story. <laughs> All right, and the last one for this week, um, this is from our boy, Louis M. Uh, and I, I think this is a no for both of us. Did your mom ever pick up smokes for you before you could drive? No. Yeah, no. But I before think. I could buy cigarettes. Really? That's trashy. I think so, yeah. Your mom Maybe was you- buying you packs of Bernies before you could fucking, before you were even legally allowed to smoke, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I don't so. care. I don't care if your dad's a doctor, anything. You are fucking, if you're buying your underage kid Bernies, you're trash. Oh 
my God. I, I never so. did it. I still hide it from my mom from time to time when I go out and dabble in a nice Bernie, you know? His mom obviously did. That's where the question came from. Oh, for sure. For Dude, I had buddies. I think I talked about it on one of these episodes. His buddy would get like a carton of Newports and a pack of condoms. In his yeah, fucking, for Christmas. In his, in his stocking. I'm like, damn, talk about a stocking stuffer. Shooting, porn, f- shooting porno videos over here later. Fucking garbage. Yeah, um, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much. Uh, those are all Patreon members that signed up in the last two days. We just launched it, so thank you so much. Um, also, if you want to, you can go to patreon.com slash garbage. The link will be in the episode description, everything like that. And uh, you can get a free, uh, you can get a bonus episode every week. You can get uh, something from the Hard Feelings Archive, which is another podcast me and Foley used to have. We'll release one of those every week. We're also going to be doing live streams as well, so you can get all of that exclusive content at patreon.com slash garbage. And when you sign up, we will read your question on the air. Yes, sir. A lot of big things coming up. We want all you guys to get locked in on the Patreon. We're going to have a lot of great things in there, a lot of exclusive content. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Check us out. Full, full video available on YouTube. Uh, please rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Also, I'm Kevin at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. And I am at H Foley on ice on Twitter and Foley grams on Instagram. Make sure you follow us. Are you garbage on Instagram and follow you? Are you garbage on Twitter? Again, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.